Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria. I am the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. And as you can see, I already have a card pulled for you guys. This is the Four of Swords. And the reason why this card is already pulled over or flipped over is because I actually tried to share this message with you guys, or at least begin to share this message with you guys. I've already um, blessed the deck and set my intention for this reading, but there were so many distractions that came through, but the distractions were very significant. So I, for those of you guys that don't know, the Four of Swords is the card of rest and recuperation. And I will talk to you a little bit about that, but before I get into the tarot, I want to share with you that as I was getting ready to do this reading and I was starting to shuffle and I was blessing the deck, I saw a hawk kind of fly over and he was, he or she was targeting my chickens who were at the moment, they were free roaming in the backyard. So I had to stop what I was doing and make sure that my chickens were safe. They were already aware and could already sense danger. So they had all gone to their hiding places and they had warned each other. So there was a lot of communication that was already going but there, it, it really goes to show the overarching message that I was already picking up on, which is this Nine of Wands type of energy. Now, granted, I didn't see the Nine of Wands, but I felt it. It was this Nine of Wands type of energy of you, who is viewing this right now, being in a, a, a place in your life or having, you're almost expecting life, like life to be tough or life has been tough or... Maybe you're someone who's had to look out for yourself or defend yourself or prove yourself. Um, let's say if you, if it's not exactly life, it could be your career where in the office, this is an example, like let's say there's an office full of men and like you're the only female in that office and you have to work 10 times harder to prove yourself and prove your intelligence. And, you know, meanwhile, you're, um, your coworkers are goofing off and doing, you know, half the work or whatever the case is, and you feel like you have to go extra, go the extra mile for things that I don't want to say that you expect to come to to you easily, but they, it's like you have to go harder to get less than what someone else would have gained based on upon whatever the circumstances are. So spirit is talking about this energy of being, um, I don't wanna say overly proactive, but it's something similar to that where you are, you're goal oriented or you're working on something or you're fixing something about yourself or you're, you're striving towards a goal in your life. And it feels like, you know, it's an uphill battle. This could also be health related where you can see people taking, I don't know why, but I'm getting the strong sense of someone watching other people take advantage or take for granted their health and that you're someone who struggles with a chronic condition and you're like, if I only had your body or if I only didn't have pain in this part of my body, then I could do what they're doing and they don't even care. Like they're complaining about a headache. So there's this energy here of not comparison, but just being like something very similar to comparison where spirit is acknowledging the fact that you have to go harder for something to work out for something to be easier than it already than it than it isn't because it doesn't feel easy it feels like a battle for some of you guys you might be someone who doesn't have family support so you have to do things on your own the only person that you can lean on and trust is yourself so spirit wants to talk to those types of energies um there's this message here about regeneration and spirit wants to tell you about i don't like i heard like going to the well and not making a wish at the well but something very similar they the well when it came to me in my vision in my third eye vision i saw it as a deep a request for something more like a deeper request and the well represents the place that we go to to make our wishes when we when we drop that coin we don't know where that coin's going to fall but in our minds, we envision that we made a wish and that that wish will come true. The well itself does not make the wish come true. It's the intention behind your action. And in that case, Spirit is saying that for you who's joining me right now, 
for you who felt called to this reading, for you who knew to click on it, who for to you whose spirit led you to this very moment in time, you are guided by spirit right now. You are being led by spirit to tap into and to embody Four of Swords energy. Four of Swords energy is about becoming recumbent. It's about laying horizontally and laying down, whether that's liter literal or metaphorical, and calling out to spirit for deep healing, restorative of restorative practice, miraculous um, regeneration, something that allows life to infuse in your bones and infuse in your all of your different bodies, your mind, your soul, your spirit, emotions, all of it. I'm also seeing that each one of these swords represents a battle that you have tackled in all of your different mind, body, soul, spirit bodies. Usually in Four of Swords, this, these the swords represents intellect or wisdom, our ability to fight and protect ourselves or to hurt ourselves. In this case, Spirit is showing me that each of these swords represents the battle that you have been fighting or the battle that you have won or where you stand currently, right? I'm, I'm seeing someone stab the sword into the ground and that's a way of someone saying, this is where I stand and I am not moving or I cannot move or this is where it is. And it represents the fact that whatever your mental health is at right now, stab that sword right into it. Not literally, but just say that this is where I'm at divine. This is where I'm at. This is what my mental health looks like. For your emotional health, you stab the sword in it and you say, divine, this is where my emotions are at. When it comes to your spirit, um, stab the sword in and say, um, divine, this is where my spiritual health is at. All the, And when I say stab the sword, what I'm, I'm not actually saying any type of hurt or harm or ache. Um, to yourself or to anybody else. It's about making a clear declaration of where you currently stand. And at that point, you allow yourself to accept it and receive guidance, healing, and the ability to have like spirit, your spiritual team lead you into a higher state or a better state. This is also not just for people who are doing, who are struggling in life or tired or exhausted. This is also for people who are doing very well. Spirit is trying to protect you from harm. Just like the falcon flew over at the start of the reading and was looking for, you know, one of my chickens to be caught off guard. <laughs> and actually when I was chit chatting with you guys just now and channeling, I saw the falcon fly back over again as I'm like staring out into space, but it's actually here. I'm looking out the window. Um, spirit wants to lead you into avoiding burnout or avoiding disconnection from any one of your bodies. Spirit wants again that when you, when you place the sword, which is the truth of where you're mentally at and where you're emotionally at and where you're physically, your physical health is at and where your emotional health is at. When you place the sword of truth into this is where I currently stand at this place in my life, you will begin to see, you know, I could really be doing better or I can adjust here or what, what does this create? What type of pattern does this create? And in that period, in this grace period that the divine has opened up for you, at this moment in time that you are watching this video right now, that you're receiving this message, at this moment in time, this is a chance for you to show the divine and or show your angels or show your spiritual team, this is where I currently stand and what, where do I go from here or what do I need to do differently or how do I need to protect myself or what do I need to prepare for? There's this really strong message about letting the divine step forward or allowing the universe to step forward to show you or invite you into a new space or into a fresh realization in a space. I'm gonna shuffle and see what this is more about. Regardless of your current condition or how well or not well you think you're doing. 
Spirit has, I'm seeing Spirit take their hand and go like this. They are showing me that they've completely leveled the playing field. So if someone is like, let's say if we're comparing it like when um, money, let's say if we have a multimillionaire and we have someone who is $10,000 in debt. Spirit is showing me that they're leveling the playing field. So they're making it an even playing field for everybody who's out here not playing the game, but doing what they got to do. So, yeah, Spirit wants to really talk about that. So let's go ahead and shuffle. Divine, thank you so much for the messages that you've already allowed me to download and to receive thus far. Yep, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is the card of action. Um, I'm also, I don't know why with this Knight of Wands, I'm hearing the word transparency. So before you dive into anything, and I, I genuinely feel like this is exactly what Spirit is talking about. Like before you dive into something, you want to be... You want to make sure that you're not being reckless and that you do take a little pause to invite prayer in. Let's say you're about to initiate a major project. What if you had all of your ducks in a line? Like what if you knew exactly what it is that you're getting into um, and you have checked everything, like everything you've, you've prepared for this moment and you're ready to launch? Spirit is like, well, pray over it. Pray over your next steps. You could have done everything in your power to make this successful, but there's a lot of factors that you don't even know to factor in. And before you launch this thing or before you launch yourself out there, before you make another step or before you make another move, invite the divine in or invite your ancestors in to protect you because they can see things that you can't. They're gonna look out for you faster than you can look out for yourself because as human beings, we can sense certain things, we can sense danger, we can sense a good opportunity but we can't see all. The spiritual realms can see all. And before you dive into the next thing or have, even if it's something as simple or as grand as a conversation or reaching out to someone or I'm hearing like a shot in the dark, like if you're about to take a shot in the dark, um, you know, shoot your shot and see what happens. Make sure that you are setting the intention or speaking to the universe or calling to your angels and your guides and ask them that this be well received that you be in divinely inspired with your words, that the person understands exactly where it is that you're coming from, that your steps be blessed. There's nothing wrong and spirit is guiding you right now to invite them in to help you along this path even further, to not totally go it all alone. And that if you did take, let's say you have all this energy and enthusiasm within you, the time that you take to go to your altar and to pray or to set intention or to ask for protection, is going to carry you even longer and further and higher than if you were to just do this alone. And I'm also hearing to do this in every area of your life, not just one area that stands out to you that you are the most insecure about or that you're the most ambitious about. Let's say you are focused on your health. Spirit um, says, yeah, by all means, but can, I want you to be able to see that I can also not only fix your health and your well-being, but I can also bless your resources and bless your finances because there is more out there for you. And I'm, I'm here to, I just heard like grant a wish. Sometimes um, as I'm saying, like saying grant a wish, yep, chariot just jumped out. As I'm saying grant a wish, this is not just your own wishes, but the wishes of people around you whose lives you're destined to bless, whose lives you're destined to help because you have been filled up, okay? So Spirit is also, I don't know what the deal is, but maybe in a, a venture right now, Spirit's gonna call you to lead, not only in this venture, but also to find a way to help other people through this venture, help other people along your, your path. They're gonna inspire you to potentially help others or to um, donate to a cause or some type of, something so spirit wants you to be yeah king of swords interesting we have the king of swords here for those of you guys that are wondering what deck i'm using it's um i link them all for the most part in my amazon shop and this is the uh bocelli tarot which is funny because i used to have a hamster back in the day who was named bocelli okay so king of swords and we have ten of wands and then we have three of cups reverse exactly so this is energy where spirit is like we're, we're going to be working to protect you from overexertion. 
and overdoing, overspending, over consuming, over. I just heard that they, instead of you overindulge, some of you, I don't know why I'm getting this strong message that for some, some of you guys, you might be spending time eating certain things in order to heal a certain emotional, like a, a part of your, of one of your bodies, but it's impacting the other. So let's say your emotional well-being is kind of tossed up because it's been a year, you know, and there's a lot of things that have been going on. So you find that in order, because your emotions are messed up, you end up emotionally eating, which ends up impacting your physical health. It makes you sluggish, it makes you sleepy, it makes you whatever. And then that impacts your spiritual health because you're clouded. And because, and your, you know, your boundaries, your spiritual boundaries is, are starting to get worn down. So then you become susceptible to psychic attack or mental confusion or mental fogginess, which impacts your mental health, which makes you feel like you're not productive enough or you're, you don't, you can't make decisions clearly, or you don't feel as sharp as you once did. So then you end up, because you don't feel sharp, then you go to drink too much coffee so that you can wake yourself up and it only ends up draining yourself. Do you see how all of these things are connected? So with the King of Swords, I like to think of him as the doctor. He's the one who can pinpoint the problem, which may not necessarily be something that you may see. Um, and then it once he fixes, once he addresses it or sees it, he'll work to address it and then begin to remove or see what has been overburdening you energetically, Ten of Wands, what has been overburdening you, what has been draining you, what you've been carrying, and then Three of Cups Reverse, work to get rid of that imbalance. Three of Cups Reverse is the card of overindulgence and who knows what that might look like for you. This could be something literal as um, too much of a good thing, so that could be drinking, it could be eating, it could be partying, or it could be too many um, emotional burdens on you. Three of Cups is cups connect with emotions when the cup, when it's reversed, that energy is, is excessive in some way. It's either too much or way too little. So, and when the, this Three of Cups shows up, it doesn't have to be an over excess in something like literal, it could be metaphorical. It could represent emotional burdens, emotional baggage, too many people kind of pouring out into you or you not pouring, having enough resources to pull, pour out into you know, others to share or to get it out so it stays on you. It stays in your energy. It, it shoulder, it, something that you shoulder, it's something that carries you down. I wanna say that for some of you guys, there's gonna be only so much you can do on your own in order to quote unquote fix this problem. Let's say you have children and they might be going through a phase in their life or you, you don't feel like you can deal with the temper tantrums or whatever the case is and you kind of have to grin and bear it and do your best. So you're doing the best that you can, but it just feels like maybe that's not enough, right? So this is where spirit says, allow me to step forward and to help you with this so that it's not just you trying to find not only like a babysitter, but like the right babysitter. The, like, let's say you know that you need a babysitter. Again, this is a metaphor. Let's say that you know that you need a babysitter. You're looking everywhere because you have to go to work and you wanna make sure that your child's in good hands while you're working. And because as a mother, you need time for yourself. Spirit can, like, if you did this on your own, you would have to find the right babysitter and their availability all on your own. But if you went to spirit beforehand and you told spirit, if you go to the well and call to the well and say, I'm, I want not just the babysitter, but like the person who's gonna be the right fit for me and my family and will, someone who will go above and beyond. And it's just in their natural nature and somehow it's the most excellent fit. Literally the universe will begin to, in that pause through that prayer, begin to shift and move things around to not only bring you the babysitter, but bring in something, a connection that far exceeds your own expectations. That is a very specific message, but Spirit is just saying, literally invite me into all the different areas in your life so that I can make the path forward way more easy and effortless than if you were to do this by yourself. Um, I just heard someone saying, um, Spirit said, cancel some debt. 
Um, so some spirit's going to be working on, yeah, fixing um, finances. King of Wands reversed here. Eight of Cups upright. The Empress. Spirit's going to be leading you. Wow, guys, you should see the Empress's feet right now. <laughs> so funny. Random. Um, Spirit's going to be leading you into some things that you as the Empress, as far as like the resources that you're receiving and what's going to make you feel supported, um, they're going to start leading you away from certain things because it's, I just hear it's like unnecessary. I don't know if this is unnecessary spending or, um, I heard spirit saying like turning something into a project, um, but it actually feels kind of progressive. It kind of feels good. So you guys might actually be, again, looking at all these different cups, like what is being poured into your account. I, there's talking about this could be an actual physical account or it could be your emotional bank account. Like how much do you have to give and how much do you need to gain? So each one of these cups represents a very specific thing that is pouring into all the different areas of your life. And again, we're going to each assess all where the swords are placed in your mental, your emotional, your spiritual, your physical. And I feel like I'm missing one. I don't know why. Um... But yeah, is it, are, are each of those cups full? And do one of those cups have a drain? So start to talk to spirit to lead you into a deep assessment to help you be more thriving, fruitful, abundant, because the opportunity is there. But there's certain things that you're going to need to be able, you're going to need to see in a whole light in order to be able to transform it. And some things are not going to be easy to find all on your own. Okay. So I actually want to look at the Southern Botanic Oracle and see what messages we have here. I'm actually going to read <clears throat> from this deck. Also guys, um, I do offer daily readings. Um, at bahadilife.com. It's called Bahati Love Notes. You can sign up. It's $5 a month. You can cancel any time, but pretty much what it is, is um, I shuffle and pull every single day, usually, and see what the energy is, channel messages. It's something that I would do for myself regardless, but I just take extra time, about 10 minutes to share it with you guys, and it's been very beneficial for the majority of you, so. Um... All right, so I wasn't going to pull these cards, but I feel like they're really called. It's interesting because the card that's standing out to me the most right now is the hydrangea. I'm probably not saying that correctly. However, it's one of my favorite flowers. Um, it actually represents gratitude and peace. I don't know if I said it in this reading, but I did talk about it, or at least try to, about expressing gratitude. And interestingly enough... Before I did this reading today, the message of gratitude is actually my post on Instagram. Um, and I really am diving into a message about gratitude. So I can talk about that a little bit more. But having gratitude gives you peace, but it also helps to change what you are attracting. We are going to be attracting regardless. Um, but when it comes to physical things in our lives or circumstances and opportunities we can change what we attract by changing our vibration and the way to do that is by expressing gratitude by tapping into things that is that we like and love so that things that match that vibration tend to flow to us we can't always do that with people because light tends to attract well human beings are complex so light tends to attract all different types of energies and I don't want any one of you guys to be like, well, I've got negative people in my life. What did I do to attract them? Again, human beings are complex and totally different than attracting a home or attracting a car or attract, attracting a trip or a cup of coffee of your dreams. You know, um, human beings are so complex. So you can shine your light and then attract someone who wants to consume that light because of the complexity of hum the human nature. I do want to talk to you about the magic of the hydrangea. So... If you change the pH level of the soil, the entire um, flower, the flowers will change color. And this just goes to show you that 
if you change the root, like what's the, what is feeding you, you can change in, a, in just a sh short amount of time the energy of something or the total appearance of it. So apply that message how it resonates, you know? If you, again, like if you're expressing gratitude, if you're expressing love, or if you're making a change in your environment or ch making a change in your energy, you'd be surprised how that will influence the entirety of your your appearance, but also your aura, your energy, and all of the vibe around you. So just take that into consideration. The next card, wow, we have Comfrey, which is the card of healing and protection. Again, I, I do get a strong sense that for many of you guys, you need to know that spirit or the divine, your ancestors, your guides are doing everything in their power to protect you. They do not want anything to hurt or harm you. And the way to allow that protection in even further is to call out to it and to be open to it. And we have free will here on earth. So if we're not actively inviting in our angels and our guides, they will wait for you to do so. They will keep you out of harm's way for the most part, but make sure that you are inviting them in as much as you can. Wow, hearts a bustin'. And this is the removal of obstacles and catharsis, exactly. So they want to, for some of you guys, you're gonna do a road opener candle. I can um, offer that in my shop. I don't know why I haven't even, I don't have that, but I'm, I'm gonna start doing that today. So I'll get those candles up for you guys. But this helps to remove the obstacles so that the path can be open for you from the spiritual realms to make it far more easier than you having to figure out how to go around the obstacle, especially when it comes to cathartic energy. Um, Hobblebush is maturity and experience. So they do wanna acknowledge the fact that there's a lot of growth here um, that you have experienced, a lot of things that you have lived and learned. And I think that that's what contributes to you not being defensive, but you not expecting the worst, but being prepared. And spirit is saying, your, your maturity, you've matured, but we don't want you to be dense or we don't want you to be heavy <clears throat> and we don't want you to be on guard all the time. We want to, remember it was the Four of Swords, so there's this inv invitation to relax and to um, invite spirit in and you know, your experience might have led you. Yep. Wild cherry, we have passion and fire. So something is definitely going to light you up here. Wow. And then we have hickory, release and letting go. So these cards really fall so perfectly into alignment with each other. They're trying to give you the opportunity to invite spirit in. I mean, I, I don't know a better way to say it. Um, this healing can happen through rest. And while you are regenerating, while you are resting, while you are praying, while you're at your altar, while you're making that wish, whatever works for you, it's gonna help remove the obstacles, it's gonna help ignite the passion, it's gonna help ignite the fire. And spirit is going to come in like a lightning bolt. Um, this falcon is definitely circling my house right now, it's so funny. It's so, it's so interesting, like I don't even, that, so maybe that's a message too, guys. Like I, in the beginning, <clears throat> I used to, for those of you guys that don't know, I have chickens. I have a homestead. Um, but in the beginning, when I started this, I would see a hawk. Well, one of my chickens got destroyed by a hawk, you know, trigger alert. But um, <clears throat> after that, if I would see a hawk, I would go running out there. Now, I wish you guys could see this. He's like trying to zoom in. <laughs> He's getting closer and closer. Now, I have created... Um, a structure for them that has withstood <laughs> hurricanes and tornadoes. I'm, I'm not even kidding. And I know that it also protects them from birds of prey. So this is exactly what I'm saying that <clears throat> me watching my chickens, right? They were out there this morning. They saw this falcon. They saw this hawk. Um, I don't remember. I don't know which one it is right now, but they saw this. They called out to each other and they ran to go hide. So from their experience and from their wisdom, they're, they know how to survive. I, as their, let's say I'm their God, which I'm not, but let's say I was, I had already, I've already created, I saw the danger and already began to create something to protect them in the future. Um, so now I made sure that they were in their um, coop and not roaming around the yard because that would put them in danger because I saw the danger before they saw it themselves. 
So that's kind of similar. Imagine if you are the chicken <laughs> and there might be something here that might be a threat to your existence, a threat to your existence or make your life more complicated. There is this energy of something or someone is going to come through and guide you by leading you into a safe ground or leading you into better ground so that you can rest and not have to worry about it or actually physically rest. It's, it's for everyone, it's gonna be different. So definitely light the um, um, road opener candle. It removes all obstacles. I'll have it up in my shop <clears throat> for you. Also, I have the healing waters candle for those of you guys that need it. And you know, let's just get some good energy going. Open the door, open the path. That's why I was, you know, it's what we're being called to do. It's what we're being led to. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get this reading up for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and receiving this message. I hope that it reached you with divine timing, of course. And um, do make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.